Now, within Christian circles, we most of us know what a cantata is, uh, but it's really just a Christmas concert with the message of Jesus proclaimed uh, throughout uh, that whole uh, message, throughout the, throughout the concert. So in two weeks, on Sunday morning, December the 13th, both services will be a cantata. It will be a time of worshiping the Lord together, focusing upon who Jesus is and what Christmas is really all about. But as you came in, you should have received a, uh, an invitation. It's red. You want to hold that up? If you don't have one, kind of wave at Nobu because he has a lot of them and he'd love to, love to get you one. So if you don't have an invitation, you can uh, get one of those from Nobu. Uh, but these invitations are not for you. <laughs> but you're still invited. Okay, that is your invitation. You're welcome. The one that you have in your hand, though, is to be given to someone else. This invitation is to invite them to the Saturday night Christmas concert on December the 12th. It is the same cantata, in essence, of what we will do on the Sunday morning. But this one will have a little different message uh, geared more toward those who are not yet Christians. To those who are seeking the truth. And it is our job, ECB, to invite them to come. To be a part of this. And so that invitation is for the Saturday night service, or you can invite them to come to the Sunday morning. Now, let me say this. If you come on Saturday night, we would still want you to come on Sunday morning. Okay, it's not an alternative service. It is an outreach event for you to bring your friends and afterwards to share with them the meaning of Christmas. Does everyone understand that? Okay. So we want to encourage you to make that invitation to a co-worker, to a family member, to be a part of this time uh, that is that we are looking forward to. We also have two Christmas Eve services uh, this year on December 24th at 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. The 6 p.m. service will be geared toward family. The 8 p.m. service, more of a candlelight communion service. And so uh, prepare your hearts. And again, that's a wonderful time to bring friends and family who are looking for the truth about Christmas. Uh, so we anticipate wonderful things. Now we're still in November, but yet looking forward to all that God is going to do before the end of this year. Okay, am I missing any announcements? Mesa. Yep, uh, if we've got a group going uh, up to Mesa to deliver the Christmas boxes, which we have been collecting. Uh, if you have not turned in your Christmas box that you have already signed up to give, uh, can you please do that within the next week? Uh, that will be very important as we have a team about to deliver those boxes uh, up to the northern part of Thailand uh, on the weekend of December 11th through the 13th. So we want to be praying for that as well. Oh, is uh, Ken Choi here? Oh, huh? They're in Oh, good. Thanks, Ken, for coming to church. Uh, <laughs> this is a little awkward for me, then. Uh, you, <laughs> give a big love offering to your pastors, would you? <laughs> I mean, really give. <laughs> what am I supposed to say to that? Uh, <laughs> at the end of each year, it's, it's uh, kind of just part of ECB that uh, we have a chance to give to the pastors. It's not just me, it's all the pastors at ECB. Uh, but this is a Christmas love offering. You can give this week and up to next week. So uh, you can mark that on your giving envelope as a love offering to the pastors, and I will later give you thanks uh, for... That was a very weird announcement. Uh, but we, we want to focus upon the Lord. This is all about Jesus today, friends. 
uh, as we begin our Advent series, the wonders He has done. We serve an amazing, all-powerful, wonderful God. Amen? If you're visiting with us this morning, we welcome you to ECB. Would you kindly raise your hand if this is a uh, first time or you're just visiting this morning. We'd like to acknowledge you. Wonderful having you with us this morning. We have contact cards in the seats in front of you, and you can fill that out. We'd love to get in contact with you. But let's stand and continue in our worship time. 